Okay, so today I wanna to talk about my mother. So Mother's Day is coming up. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to interview my mom and basically ask her questions about her experience as a mother, um, the joys, the challenges, um, and things that she might remember uh, and just kind of explore that with her today. So I'm excited about doing that and I'm very interested to see what she's going to say about this. So um, let's just hop right into it. All right, so I'm just gonna ask you a few questions and I want you to answer them however you want, answer, answer them honestly, and just have fun with it, okay? Okay. All right, so the first question is, what does being a mother mean to you? Um, let's see, you bring a child into this world, mm -hmm. and you get to watch this child grow up and become a real human being, <laughs> yeah. a real person, <laughs> and you just, watch him or her as they grow into this wonderful, beautiful, mature person. Who eats all your uh, food. An adult, yes, who has eaten all the food. <laughs> when they're teenagers, you wonder, where did you get that child from? Right. <laughs> but that's all part of being a mother. And it, it's an amazing feeling mm -hmm. that, hey, this is my child I was carrying for nine months. And to watch them grow, it's, it's just an amazing feeling that you can't really describe. And just to watch that person grow up and just be a wonderful, um, an adult. Oh, thank you, you uh <laughs> <laughs> Salute to all the mothers who live their lives making sacrifices and being selfless. I mean, we have to go through you in order to be born into this world so small and helpless crying and screaming but you were the first ones who held us and even as we have gotten older and bolder you'll still do anything you can to help us they say that it's the hardest job in the world but the way that you handle it there's no way that we would know maybe you're a ceo or you just take care of the household some of y'all with ease do both but the point is you're the closest thing to a real life superhero and we appreciate you when you first found out that you were going to be a mom, that you were with child, how did you feel? I was really excited yeah. because I always wanted to be a mother and a wife. So I was really excited about having a little one. And um, did you want did you want me to be a boy or a girl or did it matter? Well, I wanted, it didn't matter to me, but your dad went out and bought all these wonderful, beautiful girl clothes because he wanted really? a girl. So, um, in a way, he was kind of staring me toward a girl, but I enjoy every moment of my little boy. I mean, <laughs> I just loved it. I grew up with all these brothers, so uh, having yeah, a little boy was a wonderful thing. Isn't it crazy how just the sight of a baby can give life to you? I mean, life is such a gift and it's a blessing to carry life inside of you. And if you're someone who's unable to, that doesn't make you any less of a mother because what matters is that bond, that intimacy. See, I can't remember being in the womb, but I can remember all the love that my mother has given to me. What age was I that uh, you most enjoyed taking care of me? Like what age was the most fun for you? When you began to walk and talk and become your own little person. <laughs> um, you were very intelligent, you knew what you wanted, you were very determined, but you was a very good child. I mean, you we took you everywhere. You went with us to choir rehearsal, and you just enjoyed it. You just enjoyed life as a little toddler and you love people and you was just a lovable little boy. <laughs> nice. So as a toddler, I really enjoyed you. And I enjoyed you um, growing into a teenager also. Um, we had our challenges there. Mm -hmm. But I think I really enjoyed that part as well. So that's uh, the perfect segue. Challenges. What were, well, not even specific moments, but just being a mother altogether, what were some challenges that you faced? I faced a few challenges. Um, some of them was funny, believe it or not. <laughs> some of the funny challenges that I faced were when I had to go to school 
because you misbehaved when you was in um, kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And you would always challenge the teacher. And I was like, what is wrong with you? (laughs) The other thing was we could not get you to accept when you did not get an A. You just would not accept that you was, you wanted to be perfect. Oh, and yeah. I could, that was that was a challenge, but I think one of the the major challenge in our life was when um, you became a teenager and you found yourself having a child, mm-hmm. and that was hard for you and me. But I think it made me, even though it was a challenge for me, and it, I struggled with that. I was so proud of how you stepped up to the plate, how you handled that. You you did not avoid your responsibilities. Right, right. You was determined to do the right thing. How y'all raised me. So yeah, so (laughs) that 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 made me proud, even though that was one of our greatest challenge. Now I know that being a mother isn't always easy. Sometimes we cause you guys heartache and heartbreak. You try to get us to do the right thing, but some way, somehow, we still choose to go the hard way. Sometimes things get so stressful. I mean, you have to juggle so much, and sometimes we don't realize how much that you care, even when you fuss. But once again, they say it's the hardest job on the planet. It's hard as granted, but granted, you seem to manage without panic, and that, to me, is amazing. And what was rewarding for you being a mother? What was it that made you say this moment or this experience makes it worth it all? Well, even now, when I look at you, when I look at the young man that you have um, become, I said I would do it again. I would have you all over again if I had to do it. I mean, you never gave us any trouble Mm -hmm. except going to school for little things where you challenged the teacher. (laughs) I never caught you smoking. You you didn't, you would not put it in your body. Mm -hmm. You did not drink. You did not try drugs. The most things we had to worry about is playing too much video games. (laughs) You was determined to go to college, to become something, and you just had dreams. So, I mean, What more can a parent ask for? A mother, I mean, you make a mother very proud. So. I'm glad to have you as a mother. And uh, just so you know, I barely touch my video games now. And I still play them every once in a while, but I rarely touch them. All right, so basically, I just wanted to do this video because I wanted to let my mom know that I appreciate her very much. And I kind of wanted to put this together in the spirit of Mother's Day. At this time in the video, she has not seen the whole video, but I have some other stuff planned for the video. So I want to make sure you watch. All right? Okay. Love you. Love you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just kind of wanted to take the time and shed the spotlight on my mom. Mom, if you're watching this, I just want to let you know that I really, really love you. And um, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me. And I hope that if you're a mother and you're watching this, that you know that you are appreciated by somebody and the world would be a better place with mothers like you. Happy Mother's Day. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.